People often don't think much about soil, but it is a valuable resource as it is the foundation of all life on Earth. Healthy soil is essential to agriculture and food security. The petroleum industry is a key pillar of Singapore's economy, yet it has a significant environmental footprint. For example, the disposal of oil-contaminated soils impacts the already stretched capacity of Singapore's only sanitary landfill, the Samako landfill, which is predicted to reach its limit by 2035. Fortunately, there is a sustainable, energy-saving, climate-friendly alternative, which is bioremediation. Bioremediation is the use of natural or deliberately introduced microorganisms to consume and break down environmental pollutants in order to clean a polluted site. This environmental remediation market is expected to grow from $105 billion in 2021 to $159 billion by 2026 worldwide. We know that bioremediation works. Our pilot trials have shown that our microbial consortium was able to biodegrade petroleum hydrocarbon in oil contaminated soil by 80% in just three months. However, conventional bioreactors required to produce these microbes in a large scale are expensive and mostly catered to biotechnology companies with focus on food and pharmaceutics. Through the SNDC seed fund, Vitex and Celsi aim to build a cost-effective, scalable bacteria factory prototype, combining design elements from bag type and traditional bioreactors. Our goal is to scale up the bioremediation process for field applications. We are doing several activities in the laboratory together with the help of six student interns from NTU and several local polytechnics. We studied about biofilms and bioremediation, but we never had the opportunity to explore beyond the theoretical aspects. It was definitely an eye-opener for us to do this in a practical way and even do molecular work for the characterization of microbial communities. Working on this project has given us the opportunity to apply engineering design principles to bioreactors for microbial culture. We want to contribute to generating simple yet innovative design that can help solve real problems in the Singapore industry. Our proposed solution can achieve a significant reduction in oil pollution in soil, recovering resources for reuse and reducing landfill use. On top of that, it will help to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by avoiding thermal desorption, incineration and the transportation of contaminated soil, as well as soil replacement. This will contribute toward achieving the Sustainable Development Goals and the Singapore Green Plan in 2030.